All right, guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video, just got a package in the mail for the Pioneer 700. This is kind of popular right now. So this is a new exhaust outlet. I think what's making this so popular right now is the fact that it's relatively inexpensive. You know, it can be had on eBay and Amazon in the range of 25 to 35 you know with $40 with shipping uh, and a lot of the ones we've seen before have been upwards of $100 this is basically just a nice piece of aluminum it's been milled to the correct shape it comes with stainless steel hardware and this uh, spark arrester here looks like it's stainless also all right so this manufacturer does not actually market this product for the Pioneer 700. They probably don't even understand that it fits, but it is becoming more popular. You can see the difference between the factory tip and this one. And the only reason I'm really kind of doing this modification is because it just seems like this one is awfully restrictive. Sometimes back pressure is a good thing, uh, but in this case, you know, it seems like there's too much back pressure, so it'll be a better look. You can also get it in black, but everyone that I've seen who's got it in black says it it's like a paint and just burns off and it turns different colors and you end up with a aluminum one anyway. So it should be pretty self-explanatory. Pop out these three factory bolts here uh, so we can put on aftermarket hardware. The only thing I would suggest is make sure you use Loctite when you're putting it back together. But I'm going to try to record a little bit of a before and after sound. I'm not sure how well it will come out on video though. So I'm not really looking for louder. You know, I, in fact, if anything, I want it to be quieter. So we're gonna see if we can capture how this sounds on video. So what I'll do is I'll get it at idle with the stock exhaust and then go for a drive, put it under load with the stock exhaust. And most of the noise you hear is the engine and not the exhaust on these things anyway. But we'll see. And then I'll do it with the new tip on. The factory bolts are 8 millimeter. So here's the factory one. You can see That's what the spark rester looks like. And it's actually got a lot more surface area, which is a good thing. There's some people who said there's no difference in sound because you didn't change the muffler. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start it with just without the tip on and hear how that sounds. That sounds a hell of a lot different without the uh, tip on there. So I'll be interested to hear how it actually sounds with the new tip on. All right, so this is a metric size four Allen key for this. And I've got some red thread locker here. But before I go ahead and make this thing permanent, I just kind of want to hear how it sounds. So I'm just going to put a couple bolts in here real quick and just hear how it sounds. So, so far this is one of the one little tiny tricky part about the install, just getting that thing to stay put. This bolt here feels like it wants to cross thread. There's always that one. Yeah, so this one, for some reason, was a little bit buggered up.
All right, so there it is. I guess we'll go ahead and hear how it sounds. exhaust under load. All right, so final thoughts. Got it on there. Uh, just had a little problem with that one bolt being uh, cross-threaded, one bolt hole. Overall thoughts, uh, when you're out driving, and I think it sounds pretty much the same when you're out moving around at idle, it's definitely noticeably louder, just a little deeper sounding, just because you can hear more air obviously coming out. Um, so if anything, it's just for a performance gain, not really any kind of a sound difference. Again, I didn't want this to be louder anyway. So actually probably will be a little bit more annoying at idle, but it's fine. As soon as you're off idle, it sounds pretty much the same and allow it to breathe just a little bit better. So for, you know, 25, 35 bucks. Yeah, it's probably worth it. So just thought I'd do a little video because I know this is kind of popular right now. So everybody can kind of see for themselves before they buy it. Maybe if you're listening with headphones, you can actually hear the difference. Uh, if you're listening on your phone, you probably won't be able to hear it. So if you want to buy it, I'll leave a link in the description below where I bought mine. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you later.